Good afternoon, welcome to the full day of eating. Like I said, it is afternoon, it's like almost two o'clock right now and I haven't eaten anything yet. As a lot of you guys know, well, you guys probably don't know, but yesterday was actually Thanksgiving here, uh, so I had a lot of food last night, so I just, when I woke up, I wasn't hungry at all. That's something that I do a lot, like it's, I don't wanna call it intermittent fasting, but I just, if I wake up and I'm not hungry at all, I like to go to the gym right when I wake up, so I just don't eat anything, so I haven't eaten anything yet and it is almost two o'clock, but, we are gonna be making my oatmeal, which you guys have seen a million times, so I'll try and make that as fast as possible. So super simple, you guys have seen it a million times. The oatmeal is done. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here, catch up on some emails, and then check in with you guys at the next meal. Meal number two is done. Super simple, you guys have seen me make this a couple times. Uh, we just have six ounces of chicken, we have uh, stir fry vegetables, and then we have just some rice in there. It's gonna be a good amount of carbs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going back to the gym tonight. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I don't know, we'll see. It's uh, We still have a couple hours before I would be going. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and still work on videos and stuff like that, and I'll see you guys at the next meal. I just realized I totally forgot to mention there's also the orange chicken sauce from Panda Express on here too. So that's the uh, the seasoning that I went with. It's incredible, I love it. It tastes absolutely amazing. I decided to go to the gym. So I actually went into the gym and made up my own workouts today, which was really, really fun. So the workout was four rounds for time of a 400 meter run, and then I did 10 D-ball ground over shoulder. So you basically pick the ball up and throw it over your shoulder, and then with 80 pounds, and then 20 double unders. So I just did that for four rounds. It was awesome, and I had a great, great time doing it. They all go together? I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, I love Baba. You love yourself? No, I love Baba and my mommy. You love your mommy? Yeah, I do. And both you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that I am home from the gym, obviously. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this Greek yogurt just as a little snack before. Just because I'm really hungry and I don't want to make any food. So I'm just going to eat this Greek yogurt and then we'll get into the next meal. I honestly cannot explain to you how much I love leftover turkey sandwiches with cranberry sauce on them. That's the most important part, for me at least. It is so good. I've had, <laughs> cause like you guys know, I had Thanksgiving, like my regular Thanksgiving where we had turkey, I had that like four days ago. So I've been having one of these or maybe two of these like every single day since. It is so, so good. So this isn't gonna be that many calories, 
Again, this is just something that I'm eating to get me into the uh, the next meal. Another thing you guys will notice is that I do eat a lot of my food. I eat a lot of my calories right before I go to sleep at nighttime. It's just how I am. It's not like a secret or anything like that. And like, I definitely don't believe the whole like, if you eat right before you go to sleep, you're gonna gain weight uh, because I do that almost every single day I eat. On, a, on average, I eat about 60 to 70% of my calories in the maybe the last four hours of the day. I don't do it on purpose, I just literally, I'll be busy, I'll be working out or whatever and then w right before I go to sleep is when I have time to eat and when, I ha when I'm excited to eat, like that's just when I like to eat, I like to eat at night. Um, so it's just what I do and that's what I'm going to be doing today, I'm not going to sit here and try and lie to you guys and act like I have this amazing diet that like I'm like perfectly segmented and I never mess up, definitely not the case. So during the holiday season, my kitchen turns into a workshop because my mom makes this candy that she calls crack and she, she thinks it's the funniest thing ever so I'm going to let her explain to you you what it is because it's delicious it's so good yeah can you explain to me what you're doing what I'm you're making, making crack <laughs> you're making what crack what is it it's crack yeah but what what it, what is it actually it's crackers brown sugar butter chocolate chips and then you put peppermint on top and and, and you put it in these little things mm -hmm, and I sell it at Christmas time and people really love it and I call them my crackheads <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you th she thinks it's really funny that it's called crack. I do think it's funny <laughs> because because I have 20 years clean now, I can make jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two of these incredibly, <laughs> incredibly simple burritos. Uh, I just put in the uh, black beans, and then literally it's just black beans with that um, seasoning that I used. And then we we have it's kind of a weird combination, but we have mozzarella cheese because that's the only cheese that I had. Uh, so I made two of these. I'm actually watching this show on Netflix right now. It's like a mini series called uh, The Roman Empire: Reign of Blood. It's it sounds really gory, but it's actually really really cool. It's kind of similar to like. Uh, not really similar, but it has like a Game of Thrones feel almost, but what's really cool is it's all about like actual history, and then they have like a narrator that kind of narrates the actual history, and then they go into scenes of like, you know, epic scenes where it's like super over the top, but it's all historical. It's really, really cool. I'm on the last episode now, so once I finish this, I'm again going to be lost without a show, which sucks, and it's been happening a lot because I've been watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> And the final meal of the day is literally the same exact thing as the first meal of the day. It's the oatmeal with the peanut butter, the flavor drops, the honey, cinnamon, I think that's it. Yeah, and water. Obviously you need to make it with water. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna end tonight with. I'm gonna finish up this video right here, but I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope that this gave you some ideas and just showed you that you know what I eat is very normal, it's nothing special at all. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up my fam. the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.